excitingly, we've got an answer to a question that has been bugging archaeologists for the best part of 400 years, really, which is where do the large stones here, the sarsen stones, come from? But we've never before now been able to say exactly where we think they're from. The process of extracting them from the ground, putting them probably onto wooden sledges, dragging them 15 miles over um, a valley, over hills, over slopes and bogs and all kinds of different land surfaces was a massive, massive achievement. And that's just for one stone. If you think about the fact that there were roughly 80 sarsen stones brought to this site, that's a massive project. Sarsen's a really difficult stone to work with because it's 99% silica, and silica is a pretty ubiquitous mineral. Working out where the stones come from isn't necessarily the same as working out the great mystery of Stonehenge, and, and maybe that's something which will never, never be solved, but it certainly, certainly takes us another step down the road. <laughs> 